three, two, one. Welcome back to Bean Gaming, the nighttime edition, the sleepy edition of Bean Gaming. Before we get down to what we need to get down to doing, I want to make sure everyone knows that World 3 Egyptian is closed. Maybe you noticed that when you tried playing the Easter event, but just a heads up on there. Don't go through there. It's just going to teleport you back to right where you originally were. And some other things I want to point out. These premium pet eggs, I don't know exactly what you get, but you have to use Robux for them. Don't do it. Don't waste your Robux on that. The other thing I want to point out is that Chain Dragon is absolutely insane. That's why we're doing the showcase for him today. We'll probably try and do a showcase on Gladiator and Baby Dragon at some point. But if you interact with this chest here, notice that if I click on Roll 10, because that's the only ones that I've ever tried to do with Roll 10 because you get a better price for it, it costs 4,000 Robux. Normally, on the previous chests, they cost, I think it was 1,250 or is either 1,200. And so they upped the price quite a bit. And so I'm really disappointed with that. It's, I wish that they would have kept the price the exact same. So if you're asking me, is it worth it to open up this dragon chest? I would say save your Robux. It's not fair. It's not cool they did that. But anyway, let's get down to some more fun things. Let's go to Dragon Island. We're going to hop through the portal here and end up on Dragon Island. And of course, they put you right facing the Robux crate here again. No, we're not going to do that. Run through the pillar. There we go. I'm still trying to get the legendary dragon or the legendary dragon egg to get the Trident Champion Tower. I've seen him in action, so we're going to do a showcase on him in a little bit. Probably my next video. But let's take a look at the stats for Chained Dragon. And I will tell you, when we see him in game, he's absolutely amazing. So just, I mean, just the design of it alone is really cool. So I bought Chain Dragon from someone in the marketplace for roughly 100,000 gems. And I was a little bit hesitant for it, but I'm glad I did because within 50 rolls, believe it or not, I did get Eternal Glory. So happy about that. And look at his range. Let's go back to Tier 1. The tier 1 range is 120 and starts off with a damage of 42,000. All the way to Tier 5 with a range of 180, which is really, really, really good. There's some other towers that are better, like my Galaxia Dragon outmatches the range on it. But he's attacking... One speed still, but 255,000. That's actually really good, especially when you throw in the pet boost and you throw in the champion boost. And speaking of that, let's put on our pumpkin champion skin because that is the best champion skin of all right now with a 12% boost to all of the towers. So we're going to hop on in game here and we're going to check out where do you go? There he is, Chained Dragon. Here we go. We're going to do Sea Skylands, and the level doesn't really matter for me right now. It's still relatively lower. But every time you win, you end up getting one of these blue tokens here, and then you have a chance of winning this premium egg, and then you do get Spartan Gold. Spartan Gold is really good to have. And I can do hard mode, but I'm going to do normal mode just because on hard mode, I really need a stunning unit, like or a stopping unit, kind of like Web Widow, and I don't have that on my team right now. And you have to be careful of where these bosses come out, or these enemies come out from, rather, because it's not always even. It, do it doesn't seem like it's a set pattern at all. So I want to start with Bunny Basher, and, and I will give a shout out to Busy Grizzy for letting me have Bunny Basher here. Not enough money? Yes, I have enough money now. And he hooked us up with that. So thank you so much for that. And he has Force of Nature on him. So that's, a, that's probably... Force of Nature or Eternal Glory is going to be the way to go because Buster Bunny has two placements. And so when you have towers that have two placements, then Eternal Glory is going to be the best rank for it. But Force of Nature is still really, really good. And we're going to let him collect some money. And look at the health of these enemies, though. 120 just out of the gate. So if you're a newer player, to be quite honest with you, you don't stand a chance. You're going to have to have someone carry you. But let's turn around. Let's take a look at our Buster Bunnies now. Doing 43, almost 44,000 every stomp. And that's every four seconds that he is attacking. And the range is really good at 127.5. That's really, really good actually for a starting tower. All right, you want to see change? Right? Yeah, you do. All right, let's 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 stop wasting time. Oh, no, he's going to get away. So let's go ahead and put down our Death Singer, and she zaps him right there. No worries about that. Eternal Glory Death Singer, she is an absolute monster. I love that tower. Okay, here comes Chain Dragon. Bam! No, I can't. Yes, I can drop him right in the middle. Look at that. Right on the crosshairs. And before we look at the stats, take a look at the design. 
he chomps down, he's trying to break free. Could you imagine if the chain dragon actually broke free? That would be ridiculous. He would just go wild on everyone. And the first upgrade is at 100,000, so we're going to upgrade him there. Now he can reach both sides, maybe. No, he can't reach those over there, so our Death Singer is going to take care of it. But we're at a range of 135. Now, look at the upgrade. With $150,000, it actually jumps almost a full, a little bit more than a full 100,000 in damage. And the range increases to 150. So now, he's actually, let's zoom out a little bit more. He's actually able to cover, I think, most of the track on either side. 300 gets us to 195. But actually, no, look at that. I had to click off of that. 237,000 damage on T4. Look at T5, 357, bam, there we go. 357,000 damage. That's with my 12% champion boost, and that's with my pet boost. I believe the pet boost is a 25% boost. That's really good, but guess what? We are not done with the boosting because I have Mutant and Dominus here. Force of Nature is the best rank on Mutant and Dominus, but Bean, didn't you just say, since Mutant and Dominus, you can only place two of him, didn't you say Eternal Glory would be better? Eternal Glory would be really good on Mutant and Dominus. In other words, if you got Eternal Glory on him, don't roll off. Off, just keep it but force of nature is slightly better because once maxed out both of well at any time really both of these towers boost each other and when you boost they actually boost more than eternal glory just giving you a heads up on that so if you get force of nature keep it all right i'm not going to click on our chain dragon let's just go ahead and fully boost our mutant and Dominus here and another thing people always ask, how do you just upgrade by putting your mouse on the towers? Well, if you hold down control on the keyboard and you just click, then you're good to go. And now we have our Chain Dragon actually fully maxed out and fully boosted. And he's doing 464,100 damage every one second. That is absolutely insane. And look at the range of that 180. He's covering everywhere. Absolutely covering everywhere everywhere and let's compare that with galaxia dragon we'll put galaxia dragon on this side i love galaxia dragon as well look he's got kind of like the gypsy looking theme there with the with the galaxies and the the earrings going on there but he's actually really cool and look with him fully boosted he's doing an insane 409,500. and i thought that was crazy when i got eternal glory on him but to get eternal glory on the chain dragon i mean that's completely overpowered. I'm trying to get my hands on a try to dragon if I can at all. So that's why I'm going to try and keep grinding this event here. I said I wasn't going to at the start, but then I was like, ah, you know what? I'm in a pretty good spot playing the house, so I can probably take a little bit of a break from the house. I, Although I do need skull curses, though, because I'm only at 13,000. I probably need to grind to get a little bit more. But who else do we have left to place? We have our Death Singer. Death Singer, come on, you want to be part of the show here. We can't put you in the back. We're going to put you up here. We'll put you up here, fully boost you. And look, she's doing 409,500, the same as Galaxia Dragon, but her range is 165 compared to the 187.5, 188, essentially, range for Galaxia Dragon. But she's absolutely amazing as well. So if you can get your hands on this tower, I would make sure that you do so. So we have every... Oh, no, we didn't put down Rage Claw. You know what? I, th I think I might try and save Rage Claw until the end because it's random where the boss comes out of. So let's skip ahead to... We're almost there, though. Let's skip ahead to Wave 12, and then we will put down our Rage Claw after that. We made it to Wave 12, and just a heads up, each of the three new maps roughly takes about 10 minutes to complete from start to finish. So we're there now. Look at these enemies. The Skyborn Royal Knights are at 7.2 million health. And that's, I mean, this is on normal mode. It's on normal, which is insane. Let me get my Rage Claw down so that he can help out a little bit here. Just look at this. But the cool thing is their only leak damage is 10. So where's, oh, the boss is on this side. Okay, let's sell, let's put Rage Claw over here. And what you can even do to speed things along is put your towers on strongest. I don't care if we're going to leak. Can, can Death Singer reach? Death Singer is going to be placed over here since she can't reach. And we'll put her on strongest as well. Don't care about the leak damage. We're going to defeat this boss much quicker than had we just kind of waited for those enemies to go on through. So there's the first map. Let's take a look at the second map. Let's see what rewards we get. There's a blue uh, dragon token. 143 XP. We get some Spartan gold. Yeah, nothing really amazing there. Let's go to the next map. 
This next map here is Lush Skylands, and we're on level 7 there. We're going to go ahead and vote on it, and of course we're going to do normal mode. But this is, in my opinion, I think this is the easiest map, because there's one track for these enemies to walk down, and then it splits on into threes. So we'll put our Buster Bunny here, or yeah, our Buster Bunny is going to start off right there. A whole bunch of enemies are going to come out to start. We'll put down a second Buster Bunny. I'm not even worried. I'm going to upgrade them super quick, because the amount of health that these enemies have... 26,000 right out of the gate. I mean, that's that's kind of a lot, if you ask me, compared to some of the other maps. So our Buster Bunny, 12,000 to upgrade, going from Tier 1 to Tier 2. And we're going to get there really quick, because look at that. <laughs> we're already there. And then 20,000, 40,000, and finally 55. And these enemies don't stand a chance. A couple bounces or a couple hits of the mallet, and they are done. And let's take a look at our Buster Bunny. I mean, he has the carrots on here. He's super cool. I really like him. But what's interesting about this map, that I'm really shocked that we're allowed to do this, is if I take my Chain Dragon, you can put him anywhere on the track. So I think they must have forgot about that, actually. So we'll put our train Chain Dragon there. We'll put him on Strongest, and we'll go ahead and completely level him up. 750,000, and no I mean, nothing is going to get by, at least for a while. We'll go ahead and put our... Death Singer a little bit closer since her range isn't all that great. And then once we get this next wave on in here and we get some more money, see, there we go. Let's, come on enemies, come on out, don't be shy. Don't be shy there, here we go. All right, let's put Rage Claw, we'll put him right in the middle, right on the track, it doesn't even matter. Galaxia Dragon over here and then our Force of Nature Mutant Indominuses, we'll put them both off to the sides here and we'll skip ahead to wave 12. Wave 12 is here, and once again, I've set all of my towers to strongest. That way, we're going to take out the boss really quick. And there is a mob of enemies that are just coming out. I mean, look at these Skyborne Royal Knights. 7.8 million health. That's insane. That's where that's where this AoE from Rage Claw really comes into play. It really does help. But it's just, I can't believe that these enemies have that much health to them on a one-star map. It's, I, mean, I don't know, it's just crazy to me that happens. But now that they're all focused on the boss here, and he's going to be taken out within a decent amount of time here, these enemies will not even make it to the exit on that side. Here we go. We still have AoE damage coming on over there, but here we go. Looking at his feet, we got him. Over with and done. Let's see the rewards this time. Of course, we get the trophy, the XP. Oh, I got the pet. Very cool. Then we got the green dragon token. All right, let's go back to the lobby and let's finish up with the last map. Sun Sky Lands is the last map. I'm on level 10 right now, of course, on normal mode. And this map is very difficult. Just look at the size of this map. It's absolutely insane. That's why this Bunny Basher is a really good starter tower, but, but you can't place him right away because you want to make sure you're placing him where more enemies are coming out. Again, it seems like it's random because sometimes you get half and half, sometimes you won't. And it looks like all of the enemies, well, except for the ones coming out over here. So I'm going to get money really quick here. And I'm holding down control on the keyboard and I'm clicking with my mouse. One more time here. There we go. Let's put another bunny basher on this side. Level him up. And there we go. That's it. They're done. Goodbye. Skyborne recruit. You're toast. So I'm going to try and keep all of my towers to the front here because... If not, it's going to be very difficult because there's so much space in between here. It's going to be very difficult to place any of my towers here to go back and forth. Because I have Eternal Glory on a good handful of these. Actually, hang on. I only have Eternal Glory 1, 2. On three of them, I don't even know if Death Singer reaches both sides. That's going to be a little bit of an issue. Let me put Rage Claw right in the middle here. Let me upgrade him. I think once the boss comes out... Once again, I'm going to see where the boss comes out from, whatever side, left, right, or through the middle here. And when that happens, I might try and replace my Rage Claw and put him in the path of the boss. Just so we can get a little bit more help in that regard. Alright, pay attention here. What's going on? Oh no, this guy is going to get through. Oh man, we'll put a Death Singer here and knock him out really quick. There we go, he's gone. Okay, so instead of upgrading my Rage Claw, I think I'm going to go ahead and put Chains down. And he's going to be off-centered a little bit, because if I put him right in the center here, look on the left and the right-hand side, it's not really symmetrical. So let me place him right here, I think, and then go ahead and fully level him up. Now he reaches both sides. That looks really nice. And let's just make sure that there's no... Look at how long it's taking me to run. Look at this. I mean, this map is huge... Oh, look, I can climb up the vine. Okay, there we go. Back out. Zoom on out. 
Hop over the rocks. Hop, hop, hop. There we go. All right. Through the trees. And up there. Oh, I almost got hit by the hammer. Almost got hit by the anvil. All right, Rage Claw, can you get maxed out? Yes, Rage Claw is maxed out. He does reach both sides, actually, with that range of 120. And I'll show the placements for... There's. I'll put a Galaxia Dragon. We'll put Galaxia right here. I don't have enough money for him. We'll go ahead and put our Death Singer right there. And then, of course... Oh, no, I fell. Go ahead and put Mutant Indominus on either side. Just climb in the wall and I fell over. Run back up there, getting your exercise in for the day. There we go. Galaxia Dragon is now maxed out. Look, he reaches both sides. Death Singer, let's find out. Is she going to reach? Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, she does. All right, good. And I think, once again... I'm going to wait until wave 12 to change their targeting from first to strongest just to see where the boss comes out. And everyone else, let's see, let's max Mutant Indominus out and we're good to go. Let's go to wave 12 and finish this thing up. Here we are, wave 12. Let's see where the boss comes out. And I was thinking about this, you know, it's actually nice not having Eternal Glory on Bunny Buster on this map because I can place one on each side. If I only had one, that'd make it a little bit more difficult. And where's the boss going to come out from this time? i got to pay careful attention. Where is it? Because then I might adjust a few of my towers. I might have to move Rage Claw and maybe even Death Singer. And let's see, where is that going to happen? Although Death Singer or Rage Claw is doing a pretty good job right here in the middle. Where's. Oh, right through the middle here. All right, very good, very good. Let's knock out that. There we go, good. Okay, so now we're going to go strongest. We're going to go strongest. We're going to go strongest. Let's go strongest again. And let's go strongest one more time. Boss is coming right down the middle, and now we're focused on the boss. Come on, get in range. There we go. So now all of the towers are focusing on the boss here, and it's not even... Look at this, 21 million, almost 22 million. I don't think we're even going to have any leak damage. Nope, none at all. That's great. Absolutely amazing. Let's head on back to the lobby. Oh, no, we got to see what the rewards we get. There's the dragon coin. Da, 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 da. Okay, nothing. Quit back to the lobby. In my inventory, we are going to open up 20, well, it's eight times we're going to go to the fountain, but it's going to be 24 total rewards. So let's see here. Coins, Spartan Gold is nice. Coins is, well, that's okay. I like Spartan Gold. Spartan Gold a lot, actually. Spartan Gold, Spartan Gold. I wish there was somewhere on the side it actually showed that for you, and I wish it showed how much the stats were for each one of these. Ten Spartan Silvers, two rolls. So that's not bad. I mean, gems is not bad either. I was hoping to get something really good from the fountain, and it doesn't seem like that's going to be the case. Let me see. I have one time. Oh, it's, uh, it's okay. That's embarrassing. I just spent three, I spent three hours of my life just getting this stuff here. Oh, that's a bummer. We're going to have to go back to the marketplace and try and trade. Anyway, that's it. How did you like Chain Dragon? I think he's overpowered. He's super cool and something definitely to have on your team. So we're going to have more videos coming this week. But if you did enjoy this video, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on that notification bell. Thanks again for watching, everyone. Hope you have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.